I start getting so anxious about the fact that I'm not gonna finish the video that I basically have a meltdown. Like basically a temper tantrum, what you had when you were a toddler and stuff, like I'm like that. Emma Chamberlain just made a video about why she doesn't upload as much anymore and she gave some amazing depression advice, but she also gave some not so great advice. So let's talk about it. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And real quick, two exciting announcements. The first announcement is wait until the end of this video because I am going to be announcing all of the winners from the hashtag rewired soldier contest and everybody who's getting a free copy of the book on your adulting. Second announcement, we got our first top tier patron and it's my boy from the channel, Young Noodle Arm, like you guys. So when you guys comment on my videos, I can see like if you have a, a channel and he commented on one of my videos the other day, I went to check out his channel and he only had like a hundred something subscribers. I'm like, dude, your stuff is good. He's funny, his editing's great. He does commentary on stuff that I don't see other people doing commentary on. And we actually just watched him in a live stream. But anyways, go check his channel out. Like if you want some, some good humor, like if you just want to laugh, like go subscribe to Young Noodle Arm. I'm going to link him down in the description below. Anyways, thanks again, man, for supporting the channel over on Patreon. Your channel's awesome. And me and him are actually gonna collab sometime in the future. Don't know when, don't know about what, but stay tuned. All right, so yeah, uh, Emma Chamberlain, she just made a video titled Why I Don't Upload As Much Anymore. And I watched it on my live stream. Some, somebody recommended it to me and I wanted to check it out. And so just to let you know, like my knowledge of Emma Chamberlain, I've heard a lot about her. Um, never watch her really. Uh, I, I know that there was some like controversy around this new like clothing line that she started because things were like pixelated. I saw some of that just looking around at YouTube news and all that stuff. But anyways, um, I think I might have seen, I think it was Psych IRL. Yeah, it was Psych IRL. Donna's awesome. I'm trying to do a collab with her soon too. But anyways, uh, she was talking about Emma Chamberlain and that's like the most knowledge I got of Emma. She seems cool. It's like not my type of channel that I would subscribe to, but her, her channel seems decent. So anyways, um, she's talking about mental health stuff. So I'm like, yo, let's talk about this because I know she has an audience, um, a diverse audience. So let's talk about some of the things that she went over in it. So in this video, she talks about how she hasn't been uploading as much anymore. And part of the reason is because of like, you know, editing and you know, that self-criticism that a lot of us get into. Like, I'll be honest with you guys. There's a lot of times when I don't fully edit, like when I, I don't like critique myself too much and go really deep in there. That's kind of why I do very simple editing on my videos, unless Zach is editing the video. Like, because I'm very critical of myself. Like I'm a writer too. And a lot of times when I write, I don't even go back to edit it because I will just keep tweaking things until I go insane. So if you're like that kind of perfectionist, like start to train yourself. This is just my suggestion. Start to train yourself to kind of like let some things slide, okay? Sometimes if some of you watch my videos, you'll see I do some jump cuts, but not a lot of them. Um, sometimes I leave like my, my little pauses where I'm thinking of the next word. Sometimes I screw up a word and I say the other one. I purposely do that because that's part of me doing like my own social um, anxiety exposure therapy, if you will, where I leave that stuff in there just so I can kind of get over those fears. I quickly start to feel like it will never end. Not to mention I'm getting sick of the video that I'm editing because I've had to watch it so many different times. The other thing I will say real quick, and this is something I see a lot of YouTubers struggle with, is that when you're a huge YouTuber, like hire an editor. Um, a lot of us cause our own anxiety because we have trust issues and we're control freaks. A lot of control freaks get anxiety, all right? So my suggestion, if any big YouTubers who can afford it are watching this, find somebody to help you with the editing, okay? Then all you gotta do is go back and rewatch it and stuff. Like Casey Neistat was having Dan Mace help him out with a lot of editing when he first started up the 368 vlog. And like, with, with as much um, filmmaking as Casey Neistat does, like that's huge. So if Casey can have somebody help him out with editing, so can you. Obviously I'm crying because I'm a sensitive ass and crying is one of my favorite hobbies. Anyway, if you've ever cried before, you know how it goes. Once you start crying about one thing, you start crying about everything that's going on in your life and you can't stop. So this, this clip that I just showed you, like this is something that I haven't been able to talk about in a video, but I want to talk about it. Like 
why do people judge themselves for crying? Like, just cry. If you're gonna cry, just cry. I always see people, or I have clients like text me or call me or message me, They're like, Chris, I can't stop crying, I can't, I'm like, so? Like, part of mindfulness, this thing I keep trying to get you guys to practice, a type of meditation, part of it is non-judgment, right? We're always judging ourselves for our, for our emotions. Like, what's so wrong with crying? Like, just cry. Hey, I'm letting you know right now, like, I know I seem like a super manly man, but I get some good cries in every now and then. When I first got sober, I was crying for the most random reasons, and like, there's nothing that feels better than a good cry sometime. Like, if you have to, pause this video and go get your cry on, baby. Do your thing. So let's jump into a few things that Emma talks about, because there's actually some neuroscience behind this, and that's why I like taking from different YouTubers. Like, there's so many people out there who have good depression tips or anxiety tips and there's actually science that can back this thing up usually to try to get the crying to stop i'll call my parents and try to talk it out with them so i'll be like hey guys this is what's going on again this is happening again um and i'm crying uh yeah right there she talks about calling her parents absolutely absolutely this is why you need a support group this is why we started the um rewired soldier facebook group go join it right now like a big part of depression is disconnection, not feeling connected to other people. And I know a lot of people are socially anxious or they like to isolate. Just calling or just being in an online community is amazing, all right? So this is something that, if at the, at the bare minimum, just reach out to somebody. And sometimes you just need to reach out to somebody, like a friend or family member or in the support group and just be like, yo, I'm feeling like crap right now. Like sometimes that's all you gotta do and it'll start to make you feel better, okay? This will help you. Like we are creatures where our brains are designed to be connected to others. And in you know modern times, sometimes that's just through social media, just DM or message or posting in a support group. Here's some of the things that I do to make myself feel better. Number one, I clean a lot. I do this when I feel because it makes me feel productive even though I'm not actually doing what I'm supposed to be doing which is editing and working. It allows me to basically just do a responsibility while also avoiding responsibility. Right there, like Emma kind of seems like, oh, it's silly that I'm just like cleaning, right? But this is amazing. This is actually very, very real, okay? So this, if you're somebody who struggles with depression or you struggle with motivation, what Emma did right there, like so she's talking about how she doesn't like editing and then she'll stop or whatever. Cleaning is a great thing to do. Pick an area to clean, right? Maybe it's your bedroom, maybe it's your kitchen, whatever it is, okay? Maybe it's just doing your dishes. Pick a small task to do. So what happens is when you accomplish a very small, specific goal, it actually sparks some dopamine and serotonin in your brain. It makes you feel better, okay? So rather than just sitting there and not doing anything, do something. That's why I always say on my channel, like, I don't care if you do like everything I say, just do something. When you do one thing, like maybe it's not even cleaning, maybe it's just like, okay, I'm not, you know, I'm not in a mood to even get out of bed this morning. The small thing I'm gonna do is just go take a shower, right? Or maybe I'm just gonna do a five minute meditation on my phone while I'm in bed. Just do something, accomplish that small goal because the brain actually knows when you accomplish a small goal and you start to feel better okay push yourself do something that's why uh, i do a little tough love so I'll do another plug real quick. We have another rewired soldier. His name's Jason, and he has a channel called These Four Walls. He struggles with PTSD and agoraphobia, and he's actually um, getting clean right now from a prescription painkiller addiction, and he's documenting the whole thing on his channel. I will link that down in the description below. Go check it out. But um, he had a small slip the other day, and Jason and I were talking about, yo, dude, get a sponsor. Go get a sponsor right now, right? And he went out and he did it, and he's feeling great, you know? Um, so go go check out his journey, especially anybody who's in recovery or you're trying to get clean. Like, yeah, and if you're in recovery, like go over to his channel, just support him on his journey. He's documenting it like pretty much every day, and I'm super, super proud of him to be that vulnerable and document this journey on his channel. Another thing I've done before is try to find a hobby like the other day i went to walmart and got a skateboard for fun i don't know i was like this could be good for me so i bought a penny board and i just started skating around in my garage boom right there another huge one another huge one get a hobby anything i don't care if you're doing like origami or whatever it is like emma got one of those little like boards and she goes out like going out and being active is a lot better like you get more neurotransmitters that way but anything do something that you like like you guys here's the thing 
Like you have to take breaks. You have to take breaks. And this is coming from somebody who is a workaholic. So find something that you like doing and take a break. Like sometimes I'll just start live streaming and when I'm playing Fortnite, like sometimes I just have to force myself to take a break, okay? And this was actually brought to my attention back when I um, used to work in the car dealership industry. And I was such a stress case, right? I would work through lunch. Like some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. Some of you right now are those lunch workers, right? I would work through lunch. And one of my buddies actually showed me a study where it's scientifically proven that you are less productive if you don't take a break, right? So even though you're, you're not taking a break and you're working longer, you're not getting as much stuff done, all right? So you have to take breaks, okay? Do something fun, do something you enjoy, go zone out, go watch some YouTube, go play a video game, do a hobby, go outside for a walk, do something. Another thing, I'm not really proud of this one, but I do a lot of online shopping. It also explains why I have so many clothes and I don't really need them but I want them. All right, right there, right there, this is bad advice, all right? Now, Emma's self-aware and she knows that this is a bad thing, but I just really want all of you to know, yes, this is a bad thing. So there's been some back and forth debate on my channel, I don't know why, um, about is marijuana addictive? Yes, it is, it can be psychologically addictive. Anything can be addictive. The brain is wired in something called the habit loop, which has a trigger, a behavior, and a reward. And what can happen is if you shop every time you're depressed or not motivated, you're wiring your brain and teaching it that every time you're feeling this way to go shop or go spend money, right? And it's the same thing. It's the same thing as what a drug addict or an alcoholic would do. So I actually know somebody who does this and they, they just buy so many things off Amazon that they never use, that they're not going to need, and their house is just filled with stuff. So that's what I will point out right there. Now, it's good that Emma is self-aware of this, but break that habit. Go do something healthier, okay? So you can take this this um, habit loop that your brain is wired in and actually use healthy habits, right? So instead of like shopping every time you're depressed or anxious or not motivated, like write in a journal, right? Call somebody and talk to them, um, meditate, do something. Anyway, thank you for supporting me even though I'm a fucking mess. I'm a mess, I mean, okay, like what, what is this video? This video is just me explaining how I'm a mess, basically. But that's okay, cause that's what we signed up for. This is what we signed up for. I didn't know I was gonna be like this when I was born. I didn't choose this life, it chose me, the meltdown my and chose me. And this last clip right here, like this, this is also bad, okay? This is bad. And I'm gonna talk more about it in a second, but like we all need to accept our mental health issues. We have to, right? If you don't accept it, you're making things worse. Like when you are resisting the fact that you get anxious or you get depressed or whatever it is, if you resist that, it only makes things worse. But the acceptance doesn't mean we just roll over and take it, right? Like once we accept, the mental health issues we have, now we get into the solution, right? That's why I say we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. We don't just say, oh, I'm depressed? Okay, that's just what I'm gonna be. No, that's not what we do. We go do something about it. So I don't like how like Emma's like, oh, well, I I'm just a mess. That's the way it is, da, 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 da. Like, no. No, right? Like, this is something like, Tristan and I were actually just talking about this the other night. There's people who get this like mental health diagnosis and they're just like, okay, now everybody else just deal with it. I've accepted it, now all of you. Like, no, that's what we call being a jerk, okay? <laughs> like, don't do that. Like, accept it and then work on it. And my last little rant about that segment is something you've all heard me say a million times. Emma Chamberlain has a ton of money. Go to therapy. Get therapy. I don't know why. I just, I, you know, one of these days, one of these days, I'm gonna blow up, I'm gonna be this gigantic YouTuber, and all these other YouTubers are gonna see it and they'll be like, oh my God, you're right. Maybe instead of like online shopping and spending all this money, maybe I should just do like one damn therapy session and just see what it's like. But I don't, I don't know why. Like, why is everybody trying to do this thing on your own? You don't have to. Like, go talk to a licensed professional. There are people who are going to school to figure out how to help you with your mental health. Just go see a professional, Emma for the love of God. All right, so anyways, we have come to the end of the video. So I made an announcement that we were doing a hashtag rewired soldier giveaway, and I was only gonna pick five winners, and it was gonna be limited to the United States. But here's the great news, some of you, some of you from out of the country, you actually entered in anyways, just to post online, like on Instagram or Twitter, um, in hashtag rewired soldier. And basically I told you guys to do that and just talk about a problem you had and how you got into solution and you'd have a chance to win this book. Well, guess what? Guess what I did? I talked to the amazing publishers over at Microcosm and they gave me permission to give all of you 
who entered the contest a free digital copy of this book. So now I don't gotta worry about shipping. So you get a book and you get a book and you get a book. But no, real quick, let me read the names. But by the way, before I get into that, I had a, a few of you say like, oh man, I wish I would have known. This is why you gotta listen to what my dad told me. You do more, not less, all right? It would have taken you five minutes to just post about a problem and get into the solution. You'd have yourself a free book. You'd, you would learn how to your adulting. Anyways, here are the winners. Um, so over on Instagram, we had Beautiful Planning, great name. Even the Strong, that, this one was awesome. He actually did a video. Uh, then we have Karen. Karen is a very loyal rewired soldier. Um, go check her channel out too. I'm going to put it down in the description below. She's been documenting a lot of her mental health journey and creative process. She's a filmmaker. Go check out Karen's channel. Then Maggie, oh, our little daughter Maggie. Maggie's not really our daughter, but she she's awesome. And she entered in. Maggie, this is great. Maggie's a youngster, so she's gonna learn all about adulting before she even becomes an adult. All right, the next is Mimi. Mimi. You go, girl. Mimi has asked me like five times, like, when are you gonna announce it? Mimi, this is why it took so long, because I was waiting to hear back to see if I could just give everybody a copy of this book. So Mimi, I just DM'd you, or I, I, I tagged you on Instagram. Let me know what your email address is. All right, the next, Daily. Daily, my girl, Daily. Daily is a true rewired soldier. And then lastly, we had Randy on Twitter as well. So all of you are getting a free copy. If you didn't see me um, tag you on Instagram or Twitter, shoot me a DM, give me your email address, and I will send you a copy of this book. Everybody else stay tuned because I will be doing more giveaways. Microcosm Publishing is amazing. And if you would like to get a copy of your adulting by my one of my favorite authors dr faith harper i will link it down in the description below it is a phenomenal book and i did a, a book review on it so go check it out all right but anyways let me know down in the comments below what are some of your best tips for depression what do you do to get out of your thunk? All right, let me know down in the comments below, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. And don't forget, go check out my boy, Young Noodle Arm. His channel's amazing. It'll be linked down in the description. And if you would like to help support the channel and get free exclusive content, well, not free content, but exclusive content, click or tap on the Patreon icon, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.